Good morning. I decided to vlog today. It's T minus, I don't know, about like five hours before I go to my first journal meetup since COVID happened and I am, <sighs> I can't wait to see my friends. It's been so long and I thought this would be fun to try to film little bits and show you what a meetup looks like uh, when I see them. And uh, right now I've decided that I'm gonna actually transfer the contents of this to my big hobby box that I got from the container store. It's awesome. I actually back in, I don't know, 2000, 15 and 2016 made this my entire journal kit when I downsized for moving and everything else was packed so everything that I had in my journal kit that I could access for a good portion of like a year was pretty much in this kit and I love this it's got three tiers it's different dividers anyway I'm gonna put all of this in here and because uh, I've, I've found some more stamps that I need to put in there and then I decided I'm actually gonna make up some paper packs because I shared that I have some papers that I wanna share with my friends, but I found some other things too and I can't help myself. I really just, I like to make paper packs for people. So you might see me uh, pop uh, in and out here and there and I'll show you more when I can. Now here is my D-stash pile. I I save old packaging and I use it to organize my D stashes by like category. So this is like paper pads and post-its and inks and stamps and washi and the big one, pens. Um, I like it organized. <laughs> so I'm bringing all of that to the meetup. And then I've got my paper packs and then I used old Kitawashi packaging and I've got like stickers and like little vellum pieces and things like that for each of my friends. I'm at my friend's house. Yeah, just let me know whenever you want to pot the brownies, I'll grab a knife. And she's got an awesome little greenhouse. Okay, do you want to walk us through what we're eating today? Okay, so here we have a lavender and fennel goat cheese topped with honey. This is a chili and curry goat cheese and raspberry preserves made in Wisconsin. And we got cherries and grapes and blueberries and lightly salted almonds, uh, pickles. We have a spicy salami, a salami trio like peppered salami and prosciutto, and that is an Irish whiskey cheddar. Then we got crackers and baguette and honey made in our city. So nice. cool. And then this is a morel mushroom and wild leek uh, Bonnerary Jack smoked gouda and munster and brie and then anna's beautiful pretzel caramel brownie dessert that's what i made oh my gosh so good. this looks so good oh and then oh, and some veggie tea. tray and then we also have tea your basket my little plates are pumpkins so my box i so I have a lot of washi tape. So each month I'm gonna rotate them out. This, these ones I've been keeping for a little bit cause some of them are newer, but um, I'll like rotate washies out over the year. So these are just the ones that I use. Plus right now I have like a ton of samples. So I'm working on going through my samples too. And I, I think I have samples of all my washi tapes. I do too. So I'm also kind of like Instead of, these are like more unique washies that I have. And then as I go through my samplers, like I can just restock them. So, yeah. 
I love your desk space. It's so cute. In my drawer. I'm gonna and watch like that. Altar. Yeah. Fashion. Look at all these samples. Holy crap. Okay, look at this. So this is the Eco Broad and the Lamy Broad. It's even thicker. And this is the Fine Tip Eco and the Fine Tip... Uh, Lamy. So this is a little bit finer than this one. The extra fine and the fine tip don't seem very different yeah, to me. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Hi, it's the next day. It occurred to me that uh, I never really ended yesterday's vlog of the journal meetup. We're usually in the moment. We're usually not, um, we don't have our cameras out usually taking too many photos and all that stuff. We all have goals of like taking a group photo together and things like that, but we usually forget because we're just talking too much and just laughing and having a lot of fun. Uh, so I didn't e exactly end the vlog. So uh, it's the next day. I wanted to show you some of the things that I picked up from the D stash. There was so much stuff. That whole table was full of boxes and bags and pouches, stickers, all of that stuff. Keep in mind that was pretty much like a whole year's worth of de-stash from all of my friends. So uh, it, it added up. Now onto the stuff that I grabbed from my de-stash. My friends gave us each a whole pack of Tomoe River paper, A4 size. There's a hundred sheets in this. How generous of her. She was supposed to order just one of these packs, but the company sent her like 10 packs of these packs or something like that. Anyway, so I got a whole pack to play with. I am so excited. It's cream colored paper. I have only gotten the white paper ever and that was like the 11 by 14 size. This is a lot smaller and I believe it's basically that size. So I can just fold it over. I can make a tri-fold of the paper and make that into a journal. I'm so excited to have a full stock because I don't have any more loose leaf Tomoe River paper. I've used it up and I had planned on buying more, but oh my God. And she also gave us each one of these really fun um, glue sticks. Yeah, it's from Japan. And if I can twist it off, or is it this side? This side, it's square. Uh, not that that makes a difference in the performance or anything, but it's kind of cool. It just kind of, you know, sits nicely with a wider base on it. So there's that. And then on to the D stash. There were some things that we brought to to share that were just like new things that we had gotten. Um, I kind of went through the D stash with an intention. Look at this pouch. It's bursting with things. Oh my goodness. It's like I went shopping. Um, I had the intention of finding things for my secret garden journal, the junk journal that I plan on making. Well, I found these papers that I thought would make really fun either tippins or I can like cut the images out, but it's got all these floral designs in it. I did pick up a few kind of little letter sets. I didn't grab the whole pack. I didn't need that much. But I grabbed enough to be able to like send to pen pals. So I've got a, a, a couple letter sets here. These are the Samiko Garashi ones. Sorry, I keep like flipping the papers. I just like want to touch everything and play with it. I found this letter set that's got cats on it. So I, for all of them, I just grabbed an envelope and two sheets of paper. This one has just like a little note card. And I think for these, I plan on maybe just kind of tipping into my daughter's journal and maybe mine. Once in a while, I still want to do something that's cutesy and kawaii. And I have this letter set. I thought that was kind of fun where she's doing something artsy here. So I grabbed just a few sheets of that with the envelopes and this kind of cutesy envelope that I plan on putting into my daughter's journal. So I have 
intentions for many of these things. I didn't just grab it to kind of just add to my hoard. Um, and then there was like this paper source, tissue paper added in. I really liked this kind of like insect print on it, which I plan on also adding into my onion skin journal because it's kind of tissue papery and also to my uh, secret garden junk. I have a small pack of these, which are these seed envelopes that came from the dollar spot from Target years and years ago. But I grabbed a few more because I actually like using them as regular envelopes for little things. This kind of like half used sheet of cute little stickers. I really love bread and breakfast food. So this kind of sang to my heart. Um, not into the whole like little I can't, minions, I think. Um, not into those, but um, everything else is super cute. So anything that has like happy faces on bread, I'm a sucker for. And then this beautiful handmade floral paper in several colors. So there's like a blue, lavender, pink, and yellow. Um, several sheets of each color. And I plan on using that to make inserts out of or adding to my junk journal. This is perfect. I absolutely love handmade paper and I actually have a plan for this already. So that will be turned into something soon. And then this, this envelope. I'm glad I brought this because it is full of stuff. And so much stuff, so much stuff. Okay. And there, this wasn't e like, I wanted to take more, but I had to be realistic with myself and know that this is plenty for me to play with. So I didn't want to get like greedy, <laughs> but I could have grabbed so much more. So I have these little cards, um, like little papers. Once again, for my daughter's journal, all that like cutesy stuff. And I like to use it once in a while. All these washi stickers that are floral themed are all going into my secret garden journal. This t was well-timed because I don't have very many materials. I was gonna try to really pull from mine um, to see if I could manage to put something together for this junk journal. And, um, but there were plenty of florals and things like that in here for me to pull from to be able to add. So lots of flowers, all washi stickers. And then I really liked this butterfly, so I got that. And these are more stickers that kind of have that vintage-y theme. I thought that would work out really well for the junk journal. And then some were just, you know, for me to use. I didn't really, they're not for any purpose. Like I just like that image. Just probably cut that out, use this as a background for something. So this is just note paper. This actually ended up in my pile. I didn't grab it, so I have it. I'll probably put it in my daughter's journal. Um, I really like that sticker. That's another sticker. And then these are, I think, samplers from something. So these are all individual stickers and breakfast foods. I love those. And these ones are bunnies. I just like this. It's like a little arcade. Um, thing, claw machine. And then this is full of sticker flakes as well. I'm not going to pull everything out, but it's just like little vintage items. I grabbed one that are specifically just that cat, so I grabbed a couple of those. Um, you know, like little stickers like that. And, and then there's like vintage ones back here, but lots and lots of sticker flakes, my goodness. Um, these are little just like notepad papers. They're not sticky or anything, but I thought they were really cute. So I just grabbed a few sheets, just enough to use. And then this one is like for shopping. I grabbed the, the rest of the pad for this one because it was too cute. So I got that. This is, I think, a little note set that comes with this envelope. I more or less got it for that image that I can put into my daughter's journal couple more like just little note papers just enough to use a little bit of like vellum that I'm going to add to my onion skin journal little note cards that have like the vintagey look this one I'm saving for Halloween I 
thought that was like a fun image that I could use for like Halloween or something. These are adorable, these little toaster ones and then the little mugs. I have a hard time using icon stickers, but these I would actually use in my journal because I think they're just really adorable. And dots, I really like using dots for things. So these are a little different. And these have like the little clock faces on them. I thought these were something else. I thought these were like, looking at this, they kind of look like the internal parts of the, um, like the computer. And I thought that's what they were, but actually when you turn it around, it's cityscapes. So, um, I don't know if I'd really use them. If I not, I can always just, you know, donate it. I've got a couple Alice in Wonderland themed things. I absolutely love that book, so. That really worked out. I ripped this out from my husband is doing a turkey call downstairs for some reason. If they, if you hear that, that's what you're hearing. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I thought the keys would be perfect for my secret garden journal. I ripped this out from um, like a handmade sticker book, and then I have these flowers and light bulbs. But I got it pretty much for the keys, so I just took that out. I'm not into the saying. I hate these. I hate these like snarky sayings, but I liked the image of the women. So I'm going to see if I can like hide that. That's what I got. It's a postcard. Another postcard. This one's vintage. A couple of these cute little like vintage bits for an egg saver. I have a 1950s junk journal that I've been saving for. I've like accumulated items for, for the last like five years. So it's a, it's a slow process to build that one up, but I didn't want to like go out and just buy all the stuff. I've been trying to buy like vintagey bits here and there like this to add to it. So eventually I can actually put it together. It's like a cool postcard here, vintage. I thought this was kind of cute. It's like a little dashboard and I have no need for a dashboard, but uh, what I like to do with these is use these for bookmarks for larger hardcover books. So the, you know, usually regular size bookmarks don't get lost in it. And um, that's what I'm using for that. And I grabbed another bookmark because I've been doing a lot of reading. A couple more bookmarks. These really worked out. Uh, these are garden planning grid note cards. Um, so there's like a small little stack. I can plan out my gardening because I want to do a garden journal. And then I don't believe they're double-sided. And then there's a couple that are a little different here. And these are the seasonal planting planner uh, guides. So I can put those to use. This is a little time for tea note card set from Sticky Club. I like the little envelopes that it comes with so I can use it as a little tip in. And then a bunch of handmade paper. This was just this big stack of just wonderfully uh, textured pieces. There's like some like, waxy vellum -y pieces. And all can be used in my journal. I love this stuff. I use it all the time in all different sizes. And some have like petals in them perfect and then these two are like that kind of glossier like and then it's like embossed not embossed um it's like imprinted into it so it kind of looks like wallpaper have that and then there were some pads of paper that my friend had recently got that she shared the papers of so i grabbed a few of the designs that i liked like that little flower shop front one of the houses. That one is going to go into my daughter's journal. Oh, one more of like this fun, like fountain pen friendly paper that she got in them. Like these paper pads that were beautiful. I think she got them from some things of mine. So this one's got like texture on it. Just a few. And then this is absolutely beautiful. I have the, have plans for that one. And then a couple Paddington Bear ones. Um, so cute. Those are going into my daughter's journal. Some vintagey little cards here. And then a bunch of these. I can't remember what they're called. 
Dolce Vita girls. Whatever the famous ones are that's everywhere on the internet. I personally wouldn't spend the money on them, but um, there was a whole pack of them. So I just grabbed a few for my journals. I like the rainy one. It's been raining here a lot, so I can use that one soon. So, got a little pack of those. Oh, one more thing. We were sharing inks, and I got a very generous sample from my friend. Noodler's Forest Green. It's a really pretty color. So I have that one to play with. I love journaling in green ink. Okay, that's it. I'm going to end it here because it's going to be a very long vlog. I hope you enjoyed this. We didn't end up journaling at all because we were just chatting so much. And uh, none of us were really expecting to get that much journaling done. But that's okay. It was just so nice to be there with each other and have fun and catch up. Anyway, um, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.